One of the ever recurring topics on blogs and internet forums concerned with consulting interview preparation is the perceived difference in interview style between McKinsey on the one hand and BCG Bain on the other hand. What you will read a lot out there is McKinsey employs an interviewer led style where the interviewer is giving you questions and tasks throughout the entire case, right? Taking the lead. And that BCG or Bain are using a candidate-led approach, right? Where the interviewer essentially leans back and wants you to suggest and decide what to do and what to explore next. From what we have seen over many years, candidates in general worry far too much about the differentiation between interviewer-led and candidate-led cases. Sometimes, it seems like people are almost obsessed with this style differentiation. But in fact, this is one of the biggest mistakes you could make in your preparation. So let me state the most important message first. And let me state it loud and clear. There is no such thing as a purely candidate-led or purely interviewer-led case. This is utter nonsense. It is a myth. The way how interviewers give their cases is not so clearly defined by the firms. In fact, you can see this as sort of a continuum, right? Where the extremes of purely interviewer-led and purely candidate-led are practically never happening. I mean, on average, right? McKinsey leans more towards a style where the interviewer gives clear direction regarding which analyses and topics should be discussed, while BCG and Bain interviewers lean a bit more to the direction of waiting for the candidate's suggested prioritization, right, and the underlying rationale. Now, you might wonder why there is a difference at all in the styles employed by firms, right? After all, they are doing the same kind of work. Well, from my experience in doing recruiting for both McKinsey and BCG and having interviewed many, many applicants in both styles, I believe that this difference is essentially rooted in two slightly different philosophies. So in the more candidate-led case style, as oftentimes employed by BCG and Bain, the candidate's conceptual thinking ability, his ability to hypothesize and prioritize, as well as his leadership capacity to drive the problem forward, these are under scrutiny. The interviewer will try to get a holistic picture of the candidate. And over the course of five, six or seven or more interviews, consistency of the candidate's process rigor is verified. In the more interviewer-led case style, as oftentimes used by McKinsey interviewers, we see McKinsey's belief that a defined and limited set of qualities and abilities determines a consultant's success within the firm. Hence, interviewers double down on these abilities, right? And they want to test them in an extremely focused way. This leads to this interviewer-led case style, which sometimes feel a bit like multiple mini cases, right, under a common thematic umbrella. By the way, you can also see this philosophy in how McKinsey uh, is conducting its personal experience interview or PEI part, which is much more focused compared to the fit interview of uh, the other two MBBs. The PEI at McKinsey scrutinizes three defined dimensions in extreme detail. In contrast to that, BCG and Bain use more open discussion formats. But as I said, the difference between the interviewing styles of these firms is not that clear. Also at McKinsey, you might encounter candidate-led cases, especially in the later rounds, right, with more senior interviewers who often do not adhere to a script, right, but prefer to open the conversation a bit, right, after the basic problem-solving boxes have been ticked in the earlier interview rounds. 
Now, what does this mean for your preparation? Well, you must be aware that there is a path dependency. It is essentially impossible to properly learn how to solve cases in a purely interviewer-led style. You have to build your case-solving muscle in the candidate-led way, imperatively. Learning how to rigorously approach the question, narrow it down to its answer criterion, breaking it down into sub-analyses, and then running these required sub-analyses against this criterion. This is what you need to learn. And once you master this, solving cases in a more interviewer-led style is not a problem anymore. In fact, it becomes much easier because the interviewer takes one dimension of complexity away from you, the prioritization. So even if you are only interviewing with McKinsey, it would be a massive mistake to try and learn case solving only in the so-called McKinsey style. You have to start with candidate lab cases, and this will also ensure that you will be successful when you're interviewed more in the interviewer led style. On a final note, the initial structuring is completely unaffected by this. Rigorous structuring is always required, always. And there is no difference on how to structure between all three MBBs.